Let's play a game. We just played this guy in two and two, and he likes to play pretty fast. So my strategy is going to be to slow him down and get some kills. First frag red armor. Got to be careful he doesn't spawn out of the grenade launcher. And now let's see where is he. Now open the LG door. And there he is. He wants that LG bad. Went for a Hail Mary upper uh, midair. Now I'm going to defend the red armor. And now I know that his mega health is probably pretty low. Yep, there's the health box. It's all picked up. And they're just spawning, but I miss it. I heard it spawn, but I missed it. And now I'm low on rocket launcher ammo. And here he's coming in strong for that ar red armor. Just not enough to get it. I'm not going to pick up these cells. And now I'm going to finish him off. He let his guard down for just a second. Now I don't have much time between the red armor and the mega to get both. So now I know he doesn't have any armor. I could have killed him there. Oh, but now my chance is gone. i to escape quickly to the mega health. And reset. Now I'm not going through the teleport and left because a lot of people teleport in and shoot you that way. So let's see, where is my opponent? Probably camping the red armor. Yep, he wants a full one. And I'm going to give one to him. So let's get another re another mega. Now he wants more lightning gun ammo. Fine. Just in case he goes through there. And I'm too late for my own lightning gun. And there he comes in for the mega health and he gets that. <laughs> I can't even rocket him. But in the process, he gave up the sweat armor. I might be able to grab. Maybe. Yep. And the frag too with some good rocketing. There's my mega. And the lightning gun too if I want it. But I want the green armor actually. Now he made a big mistake trying to trap me there. So now I know that 103 is when I took the red armor. So, when the next armor spawns, I have three seconds to get to Mega. That's basically the idea here. That's gonna be enough. Oh, I tried to boost myself there, but it didn't quite work. I got the kill with a little telefrag and shoot trick and a spawn kill. And there's his Red armor spawn, I'm gonna back away. I have plenty of time. He's got a good mid air shot on me, and that really put a cramp on my style there. Now, a couple of bad spawns, so that means that he's gonna get the red armor. But I'm gonna get the mega health. Now, I'll wait here behind this teleport in case he teleports in so I can telefrag him. Let's beef up our health. And get the mega. There he is. Spamming with the rock puncher. Let's see if he telefrags. Yep, he telefrags. And but I was at the wrong place at the wrong time though. But again, he hunted for that kill. And instead he lost the red armor. Now I'm just wasting my rocket launcher armor though because I know the grenade launcher has five more rockets that I can take. He's down there. I'm going to give away on position. But he has a bad rocket jump that put him right into my cursor. He's actually playing pretty well here. There's his green armor, and that's going to be his death trap. Maybe a mega health for me here. So by taking this mega, I'm again giving up, up red armor. And usually you don't want to do that. You want to grab you a few kills and go back to the red. And here I think I goofed it up. Yeah, I, well, there's my Mega. So now, he's got a free red armor, but I have plenty of ammo and I have a, a basically a, a tank stack. Not being very stealthy here, but he 
he's not even defending red. This guy is pretty good, but he's not defending red hard armor. And he rocket jumps for giving up, uh, giving me the advantage with that LG. There he is, comes through the teleporter as predicted. And picked off. So he's being very, even though he's fast, and that does give him some interesting abilities, it makes him very predictable. And that's a, one thing that a lot of beginners do. They think that speed is everything, and speed is not everything. In games like Painkiller, maybe speed is everything, but, or maybe boxing. But even in boxing, you need a power shot or some kind of strategy. And here you see I'm using speed to my advantage, but then I slow down because I don't want to open myself up for an easy kill. I use the speed to get past his blockade, so to speak, and then I slow down just to not run into spam. And in the meantime, he's making all these sounds that I'm picking up on. See, I'm going to back away there from his rocket, and that's really all there is to it. Now I'm going to give up that mega health. I didn't even get hurt actually from that exchange. So I'm going to speed up myself with a rocket jump. And that's the kind of. Sp well, I, I misjudged it there. And now I'm out of rocket launch ammo actually. But that's the kind of speed you want when you're in control and you've just picked up a big important item. That's when you want a rocket jump. And of course, I can't aim here. Yeah, my aim comes and goes in this frap, so I really have to set up my shot before I can get a good one off. Let's open that LG lid to keep him guessing. Now here I can trap him, and he knows it. And there's my kill. So when they pause like that, it means they're low on health. And so that's a little telltale sign that they're thinking, oh no, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna teleport and I'm gonna lose a lot of health or I'm gonna die. Oh, caught me off guard there. That's the other thing with fraps, not only because the my volume is low so you can hear my voice, but also while I'm talking, I can't hear the enemy. As you can see, I'm always backing away when I see him shoot something. Because I know it's aimed right for me. And it's aimed at my previous position. Well, that was bad. But if I back off, my, previous, my, new, my new trajectory is different than the one he predicted. And that's uh, a useful way to avoid some of these shots. Now he's hunting me down, but in the process, he's paying dearly because it's costing him a frag. And he can't afford to lose these frags just because he needs a lot more than what I have. And there, I can predict him going through the teleporter, but I can't finish him off. Oh, there he is. Right on cue. And you can't really brute force your way just by using speed. But he's still doing it. His aim is pretty good. He's still, he's still not doing very bad. Not, not totally losing it. But I'm able to just hold him down and control his movement. You see, I'm always in position, and usually he's not. That's a good place to be, but not next to the teleporter, behind it, so you can teleport in. When you're next to the teleporter, you can't do anything, and you get caught like he did right there. I gave up the red armor because now it looks like he's out of ammo there. He's running away like he's out of ammo. Yep, he's out of ammo. And that's another telltale sign. When they run without shooting, you can usually pursue him for free. So, a very messy game, but I think it's been very informative as well. Just because a lot of players will, a lot of, especially beginner players, they will use this tactic of just rushing you and trying to get more kills without thinking than you get without thinking. But if you stop to think, like I've been showing you how to do here, then you can actually you can actually have an advantage. And here he's aiming out, so I got, I'm going to back away. You know what? You have the red armor, you have the LG on me, on open ground, and I'm going to back away and wait for you to make the mistake. And the red armor is his again. What I can do is I can oh he's not getting the red armor. 
I was gonna put my crosshair on the rocket launcher to get the kill after he picks up the red armor there. So he's just giving me kills now by rocket jumping. And so the final score is 20 to 4. And a very close game. GG.